Hello everyone and welcome back to another 13 Nights of Halloween video. And it's gonna be me for a <laughs> by a <laughs> by alone for a while because I was not uh due to poor planning on my part, I wasn't able to get three other people in time for this. So this is gonna be three this is gonna be me for a while. And also you'll see huh? I'm here in the back. My brother's here in the back, but he's also working. So he's not other than occasionally making a comment, he's not gonna say anything. But for today's video what spooky horrors do I have in store here? Uh, it's pinball, yo. And we're gonna play some spooky pinball. <laughs> There's horror-themed pinballs. Whatever, it counts. Don't judge me. Here's Paramount Pinball's all-time classic World War Z pinball. But that's not what I'm gonna be going here. Because if I go further down, you'll see that I actually have some horror pinballs unlocked. Which is mainly on the Williams side, which is... Twilight Zone and Adam's Family, which I'll go with uh, Twilight Zone to start with this one. And I also have Monster Bash, which is also something to come into for later. But I'm going to start with Twilight Zone. Back. Well, hopefully I don't get hit by any kind of copyright strike. It should be fine. Let's play. It's going to be a while since I've played this, so I'll have to remember how to play pinball again. I love the Twilight Zone. I think everyone does at this point. Um... There used to be Twilight Zone marathons that happened around Halloween, but I don't think they do them anymore. Well, because people don't watch TV, as my brother just said. I said we don't. I mean, we don't watch TV, but if I knew that it was on, I might have, I might have done it. I also don't know how to use our TV at the same time. Yeah, that too. But my, my old TV never had a box either. Yeah, it's true. But I would have to just... It, does that say what I think it says? Oh, it says gum. I thought that said a very different world. Uh, but yeah, Twilight Zone's good. I, lo I would love me the Twilight Zone. But I think it's also one of those shows where I think just about everyone does. I would be surprised. I guess nowadays, maybe that's a little bit less certain. Are the young kids being exposed twi to Twilight Zone like I was when I was a child? There was the Jordan Peele Twilight Zones, that is correct, as my brother said, but um, in terms of the old ones, I'm not 100% sure. I also still need to see that Jordan Peele one. Unfortunately, it was on a streaming set network, so I did not have that one, so I could not see it myself. Oh, there we go. Go here. Oh, there it is. Go up there. Sick. Oh. But yeah, I was never able to. I've, oh, I think I had. I never played this pinball in the in the past, as I've meant to, mentioned in my previous pinball videos. Whenever I do one, that a lot of my pinball playing experience comes from um, the days of the brief days where I was on my dad's truck and ex going through various different truck stops and playing through various pinball machines of America's time. I did that so bad. I can't believe that happened twice. <laughs> It was the exact same situation, just twice. I just decided to do it again. That should be it for this one, I think. Yeah, they're like, whatever, man. There's no saving you on this one. That's fine. It was just me trying to get used to the style of controls again. And I leveled up, so who, who who's looking bad now? Oh, it landed on somewhere. There we go. Wow, pinball. Yeah, I do. I do love me a pinball machine, though. Loud as hell. Would never want to actually own one, mainly because I don't actually have the space for it, but also because they are loud. If you turn on a pinball machine, everyone in a fifty-mile radius will hear you. Actually, when I'm in Vegas, I have to remind myself to actually go to the pinball museum. Um. And check it out to see if I can play some <laughs> Halloween themed pinballs while I'm there. It'll be a fun use of time while I have it. Oh, That's how you can tell how a true party animal I am. I'm just like, you know what? Pinball Museum sounds pretty sick. In between uh, games of playing Magic the Gathering. That's what's life all about, baby. Oh, you almost got me again. Nice try. This time I got much better. Magnify man, there's just so much going on in this one. There we go. Hit it. Hit it over there. 
Ah. Oh. Oui. I I forgot that there was a little thing up there. No, we're fine. Ah, there we go. Oh, Rod Sterling. Listen, I'm not 100% sure what's going on here, but I see that the number is going up. That must mean I'm succeeding at something. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. There we go. Ah, oh, I waited for it, and what happened? Nothing. No! <laughs> the ball goes down. Sad. There we go. Set a new record. Keep going. All right, one million points. Go up here. Whoop. Oh, shit. I don't think anything has as crazy of an inflation of numbers as compared to pinball machines. Some later day pinball machines have numbering on par with late game gotcha units who do like 3 billion damage in a single turn. I got a single rocket from that one. Going back in there again. Until I feel like I have done Roger Sterling some form. That is not his name. Rod Sterling. <laughs> some form. Roger Sterling is, I think, the, the one of the main characters from Mad Men. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. Where's the ball? Show me the ball. Oh, shit. It was right there the entire time. There we go. Go on to the future. There we go. Hi, Hitchhiker. Pick one up. Slot wards. Come on. Oh, bonus ball. See, it's that little jingle that makes me afraid that some form of, like, copyright is going to hit my channel. But it should be fine. See, look at the Like, the next version of unlocking the door is 4 million points. And then the top score is, like, 10 million. How is one to compare to the crazy numbering system on here? And there's another 1 million, there's 2 million. I'm not even 100% sure what I did. Note the hitchhiker. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> You're kidding me with this. Please reconnect the controller. It's fine. Go. There we go. Put in the Powerball. Go here. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I, I can barely just look at this at any time. I didn't realize this is something I can do. Sorry, man. I'm doing my best here. Can I look at it right here? Can. I ran out of everything. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is true, when there's nothing going on. You make a good point there, boy. Not a single time once. I come close, and then I, it, goes, it goes away. Two robot extra balls. Ah! This is what I get for looking at the top of it. <laughs> yes. I am punished for looking. No, he's there. That's him. His face is covered. Oh, but by, by like slight bits of light. I think I got a powerball. Okay. Three extra ball. Okay. Robot. I'm gonna lock in right here. Get it done. Oh, fuck. We're fine. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That was clearly some bullshit going on there. A bonus of Hitchhiker. That's basically it. You get a bonus ball at 250 million. Easy. I'm basically 2% there. And I've lost the ball. Oh, this is a free mode. So I can just look at stuff. Right ramp lights ball, the camera. Gumball machine. Oh, that's where they wanted me to hit it this, this entire time. <laughs> I didn't even realize. All right, that's enough of Twilight Zone. I've I failed everyone. There's no denying here that it was a major failure on my part. Not all of them are going to be like the 
when I went on a crazy win streak with um, Creature of the Black Lagoon. I'm going with Monster Bash. This features all the classic monsters in it. It's got Frankenstein. It's got Wolfman. You got Wolfman on drums. Frankenstein on the guitar. Dracula on um, guitar. The Mummy on bass. Bride of Frankenstein singing. The Creature of the Black Lagoon seems to, I was going to say, only be there to steal a woman, but that's not the case. He's on the saxophone. Not the saxophone. It's, um, Lisa, stop playing that saxophone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is a saxophone. Play. To the monster bash. Thank you, Dracula, for inviting me to the Monster Bash. Oh, I realize it's a button to actually do stuff on this one. Ah, oh, and down it goes. Okay, there we go. Maybe this will be slightly easier if I can see where the ball is. The answer is no, because I'm not going to be able to react fast enough. Alright, go in there. I wonder why, at some point, people were really into the idea of the classic monsters forming a rock band. Not saying that they wouldn't be jamming together. But I also realize it's not something that they were thinking of back in, like, the 1930s. Which, to be fair, there was no rock and roll. Maybe once rock and roll was existed, they said, you know what? <laughs> you know who really rocks? The mummy. The creature from the Black Lagoon. The wolf man. They're all right. They are pretty rock and group. Oh. This one, mm, before I jinx myself, much easier than Twilight Zone somehow. That might be it. There's a, Twilight Zone's a little bit more cramped up in style stuff. This one feels a little bit more easy to manage. Whoop. Whoop. Oh yeah, summon fourth Igor. Yeah, they said, wake up, Frankenstein, it's time to rock. Oh, and he is rocking! He's alive with the power of rock. Now I'm hitting him. I feel a little bit... Oh, multi-ball! Oh, I'm so bad with these. Oh, I lost all of them. No, there, there's... Okay, no, no, it's still one ball. Still one ball. Fuck. Okay, the other ball's still up in the air somewhere. There it is. So we're still going. Pyramid Palooza. We're gonna wake up the mummy. Oh, Dracula! Dracula. 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 Hit Dracula five times. Oh shit. He says the board is lit. Oh fuck me. Okay, no. I have to hit Dracula. Dracula. The Phantom. Come on, that that was a clear hit to Dracula, and he just like he. Does that count as one? Dracula fucking breaking down on top of the screen right now. All the animation for that Extra ball. <laughs> the extra ball. We're going to Buhukin. Oh, I'm still under Dragon Attack. Oh no, no. Well, there we go. Shoot again? Okay, there we go. Sorry, Mr. Dracula. <laughs> he yelled at me to shoot the damn ball. Alright. I guess it makes sense. They need you to shoot the ball. Maybe they don't know. Hey. Come on, come on. Here comes the creature. I think it might be time for the creature's woken up from down below. Oh, no. Okay. For a second, I was going to say, oh, no. I'll get there. Creature. Ah! Oh, no. I swear, the creature is like the hardest to wake up because I don't know how to get back there. I went there once and I don't know how to get back. You very might well be. 
We're she gonna. Like the rock. <gasps> he said the dog man is coming. No! God damn. This is why you need the tilt. I don't know how to. I haven't mastered the art of the tilt. Beast with Alucard, he says. I love you, Dracula. Hate your son. <laughs> He absolutely hates Alucard. No! Fuck me. He doesn't. Alucard's like a nerd outside of Castlevania. It's true. He is. There we go. Double jets the mummy. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna lock in. I need to see the Wolfman, because I'm pretty close to the Wolfman summoning. But I'm now I'm at the crematorium. This is the mummy. Arr, you damn kids! The mummy mayhem starts now. Oh, fuck. Almost lost it all. Whoop! There we go. That counts as one. I'm getting some swamp aid. Phantom flip is lit. Give me an R. Oh, fuck me. No. Found an arm, but it was too late. I had gone in three of them, four of them lit, but I could not get the last two lit. Alright. Mm, no free game on this one. No free pass. This was the original gotcha of its day. The free. Alright. I felt pretty good on that one. So I can go to Adam's family now. I could also go to the creature, but I did a re I did like, I think, an almost 30 minute long video on the creature. So I've done it before. <laughs> there is nothing wrong. Okay, Adam's family. Do you think it's a little bit weird where they put Uncle Fester where the, the little light bulb is? So it just looks like there's a giant hole in Fester's mouth? Yes. If you haven't heard of hard, this, this one's hard. This one looks hard, just looking at it. See, the problem is when there's multiple flippers, because they expect you to, like, master the art of all single all of the flippers. And I'm just, like, not there. I can barely keep track of the two flippers down here, and you're telling me there's another flipper? And then now also there's a chair here. Alright. Wake up the dead. Fuh. Damn my fingers. There we go. Oh. Dish. Oh god. Okay. Almost got bad there, but not we good. But oh, damn it. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I wonder why no one has ever replicated the ability to how to sound like from an old arcade. Like a, vo like a voice modulation for making you just sound like you come from an arcade. Probably could. It's probably gonna kind of hard to set up though. That's what I imagine is it'd be actually pretty tough to do. Six bear kicks. Extra ball at nine million. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? It was, wherever the thing twisted, it made it perfect so they fell down right in the middle. Shaking the table. Damn you, Gomez, and your happy family. Try again. 
again. Alright, this one. Damn it, with the little flipper I tried to do something, but I couldn't get it done. I gotta stop doing that. I instinctively always hit the flipper up, and it always screws me over. Don't know what happened there other than it hit a bunch of different places and then decided, you know what? Straight down the middle. Alright, alright, not bad. Not bad start. Alright, nice. Nice. Oh, not nice. Oh, please don't go down too far in the middle. Damn. It's always like slightly. Yeah, he carries off my score and then he tells me he did bad 10. I was very close. But the only thing that is close is horseshoes, grenades, and fester. All right, try again. I'm not saying I need a perfect run, but I need a better run than what I'm feeling here. But this one is actually pretty tough. It reminds me of the other one as well. The Twilight Zone. Looks real cool, but also very hard to play. Is that why your um, avatar is Cousin It? Yes. You were able to actually meet it? Yes. Damn. That's crazy. No! Not like this, okay. Nah. Hit Cousin It was one of the things that's currently lit up, but we'll see if I'm actually able to do any of that. No, nah, it's not. It's gone again. Yeah. That happens to me a lot. It seems, it seems like something that happens fairly often on this board. I'm get there. Watch. Dish. Come on. This time. Oh, is it automatically doing it? Careful, Smurf. That has to have unlocked some mansion award. The Mamushka. Ball locked for multi ball. Ball locked for multi ball. Again, we danced the mamushka. It's in there. Yeah, I had, I had to hit the vault of the electric chair to activate it. I think. No! no. It took my balls. It took it took my mamushka. I was going to have a sick turn as soon as I went inside the damn vault. Why, well, thank you, thing. Let's see. Thing's going to give me nothing. It's a four. This is... 30. Whenever I get mad at this board, I like to start it up and then I shake the football machine till Gomez gets mad at me. You can do that. He turns it off. Yeah, you're right, I'm on till. Don't look at me like that, Raw Julia. <laughs> he actually says you're a funny guy, too. I get it. That is funny. Imagine doing that in real life and just losing a quarter. Or dollar. Like escorted out because you're dead in the old property. Because <laughs> uh, Gomez is like fucking yelled at you. He's basically said you are, you're enough. No more pinball for you today. 
You've revoked all right to the pinball. Please leave the premises. The ghost of Gomez? God! <laughs> I'm tilting tumbling at the, at the, the, at the amount of death to middle that exists in this game. It's like laser focused. I hit thing. The thing counter. Still there. It was like perfectly down the middle too. Yeah, you're right, I'm on tilt. Fuck you, Gomez. I already know I lost everything. Please reconnect the controller. I'll show you how to reconnect the controller. Alright. Skip all that. Thing shows up and says, do you get a free game? Nah. It was 80. You needed 50. I got, I got a lot uh, mad at this specific pinball case. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the few things I remember doing is like taking a break because I was actually getting very mad. <laughs> and there was one time I just like hit the ball straight back into the, the gutter. Yeah. And that's when I stopped for the day. That's hilarious. Because Gomez was just talking to me and I was like, no, I'm not taking this anymore. I don't want to hear no more Gomez. We done. I'm out of here. Well, all right, that is it for pinball for right now. Uh, I should look to see. Is there any other besides the obvious one, the Peach Creature? But I'm not playing that one because I already did pretty good on it. 976, top 1,000 of the leaderboards. I guess there is Attack from Mars. I guess I would consider a, a, a alien attack thing. Eh, I guess it depends on what type of, like, 1950s aliens? Yeah. I would consider those probably horror related, but not not that much. But anyway, the original pinball they had the actual aliens. Did they? Yeah. Interesting. Fish tails, not spooky. But anyway, that's it for this video, everyone. And that's it for this night of Halloween. Now, I'll be back with some other ones. Where I'll be doing it solo for a bit. But for the final three nights, which will feature guests once again. So till next time, everyone. You have good night. Peace out.